Hey everyone, Chang here and welcome to my channel. This is the skill building video series where we pick a specific skill and practice it so that when we encounter a problem that actually need that skill, we can solve it with ease. Let's begin. So for today's video, we're gonna be focusing on system of equation, but it's solving it through another method. The method we're focusing on is actually called the substitution method. Now, in order to solve it through the substitution method, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one of the equations and then you're gonna isolate one of the variables. So, if you're working with x, then you wanna isolate x, then that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have x on one side and everything else on the other. If you're working with y, then it's y on one side, everything else on the other. After you do that, you're moving on to step two, where you take that sort of isolated variable and you're gonna plug it into the other equation. When you do that, notice that you only have one variable you're working with now. That moves you to step three, where you're solving the variable. After you solve for that variable, you have a numerical value. Pick one of the two original equations, plug in that value and solve for the other variable, and then you would have finished your problem. So let's practice. For our first problem, we have 2x minus y equals negative 1. Then we have y equals 3x minus 2. Now we love a problem like this because guess what? y equals 3x minus 2 means that the y variables already isolate. So we saved ourselves a good number of work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this y, this isolated y, and we're gonna plug it back into this equation right here in place of y. So the original equation, now we have 2x minus, and instead of y, once again, we're using this guy right here, 3x minus 2. So we're gonna just put the parentheses here so we know 3x minus 2 equals, and then we have our original negative one. Let's make sure you can see that negative sign right there. All right, cool. Now, we can combine like terms, but first and foremost, we have to distribute this negative sign, right? This is like a negative one distributed into the parentheses, so we have 2x minus 3x, negative negative is positive right here, so that's gonna be plus two equals negative one. Great, now we're gonna combine like terms. We have this guy right here that we're gonna worry about, that is 2x minus 3x, which is gonna be negative 1x, or just negative x, right? Plus two equals negative one. Getting rid of two, we're gonna subtract two. On one side, we have to do to the other, that subtract two, that gives us what? Negative three. And so we know that negative x equals negative three. Multiply both sides by negative one to change the sign. Probably shouldn't have used the, that kind of multiplication sign, but all right, so that's gonna be x equals three. Okay, so we have x equals three. That's great. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick one of those two, and we're gonna plug it in and solve for y. Well, I'm gonna pick the second one just because y is already isolated. It's probably easier. So, it's y equals three, and now we know what x is. That's another three, so it's gonna be three times three, it's gonna be, where is that, uh, minus two. So we have it right here. Y equals three times three is nine, minus two, which equals seven. So Y equals seven. This is our answer for this problem. X equals three, Y equals seven. Now for our second problem, we have this one. Five X plus three Y equals 10, 8x minus y equals negative 13. Now this is not like the first one because the first one, they already isolated the variable for you. It was lovely, easy, great. This one, not so much. So we actually have to pick one of the variables, pick one of the equation and isolate it and then plug it into the other. So looking at these two, this is just my strategy. You could use whatever strategy you want. I see a y by itself right here, or not really by itself, but basically there's no number in front of y. I like that, I wanna keep that. So I'm probably gonna be working with this guy right here. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna isolate y. Now, working with this guy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite it so I can actually isolate y. So let's just write it down here again and then start manipulating it. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna add y on both sides. When I do that, this y goes away, I have 8x, equals negative 13 plus y, okay? Well, that's kind of weird, but guess what? Y is positive now, that's kind of why I did that. Now, we're gonna add 13 to get rid of the 13 so because we want y by itself, and it's gonna add 13 here. So what we're gonna have here is actually gonna be eight 
x plus 13 equals y. Excellent. So we're going to be focusing on this guy right here and this top guy right here. Okay. Now there's our y. y equals 8 x plus 13. Now it seems kind of weird y's on this side. Remember equal sign doesn't matter which side it is. So we're going to plug it in for the y in here. So we have 5x plus 3. Now instead of y we're going to put multiply. What is that? 8x plus 13 equals 10. Okay. 5x plus 3, we're going to distribute it into the parentheses, 3 times 8 is what, 24x, 3 times 13 is what, 39 equals 10. Excellent. Combine like terms, we're going to combine this guy, what is that, uh, 5x, 24x, that's 29x plus 39 equals 10, subtract 39 on both sides, this goes away. We have 29x equals, and then 10 minus 39 is negative 29, which is great. We divide by 29 on both sides, and that's going to be x equals negative 1. Okay, that gives us x. Now, what do we do? Well, we're going to plug it in and solve for y. Let's see, what should we do? Well, here we have 8x plus 13 equals y. We know that x equals negative 1. So rather than 8 times x, let's just hopefully you guys can see this, 8 times negative 1, which is our x, plus 13 was e equal to y. That's going to be negative 8 plus 13, which equals 5. And that's going to equal y. So y equals 5 in this case. And there is our answer. X equals negative 1, Y equals 5. So for the remainder of the video, I'm going to refrain from giving an explanation. Hopefully you guys can follow along. Let's begin.
you for watching this video on system of equations through the substitution method. See you in the next video.